We were very careful about our purchases. We decided to make the investment, not as an investment from which we expected a financial return, but as an investment from which we might get a life return. And that is exactly what happened. I think the beginning of uh, the time we started to think seriously about collecting art was when we moved into the apartment we're sitting in right now, which was 1985. We actually used an interior decorator, and he suggested we might want to go to some galleries, so we did. I heard about uh, Pace Gallery, Arnie Glimcher, who was the proprietor. He asked us how much we wanted to spend and either a barber or me said, oh, between 10,000, maybe even 50,000. We said 60,000. And he said, I really think that you should learn a little bit more about art and the things you want to acquire. And our next stop that day was to meet Leo Castelli. He said the very same thing. I wish that you'd take a year to learn more about what you're gonna be collecting. We bought only when we saw one we loved. And that's how we built our collection. Barbara and I had an understanding that we both had to like a piece of art a lot. Together, that was our rule. Very good rule. Yeah, we didn't buy things that both of us didn't vote. 100% with yeah. our thoughts. Yeah, A plus. I honestly think it's part of the reason our marriage has held together for 69 years. One thing that I really wanted to acquire the Warhol flower, Leo Castelli. He owned it, it was in his office. I saw it and very much wanted it. It's not too large. I love the color, I love how it looks. I'd really like that. He said, I'm sorry, but I'm really not gonna sell it. And the next time I saw it, it wasn't there. And I said, how's the painting? He said, fine. And every time I saw him, I said, how's that Warhol doing? Finally, one day he said, I would like you to come into the office. I have a surprise for you. And lo and behold, there was the Warhol. He said, now you won't have to ask me about it anymore. You can acquire it, which we did, and I love it to this day. What we had always planned to do, and which we are doing now, is we have already given the paintings that were selected by Sotheby's to our foundation, and our foundation is selling them. Our foundation is dedicated to improving the quality of life in the United States and in Israel. And we do it trying to improve the quality of leadership in the nonprofits. We do it through a serious investment in the humanities. The other thing that's important is to know it's local, national, and international. You know, we're parting with some paintings and sculpture we love. We think it's the right thing to do based on our life plan. But it's difficult. It's not exactly like selling one of your children. But it's, uh, it approaches. It's getting close. Yeah.